Hello and welcome to another one of our tips and tricks videos. My name is Michael Hamrish and I'm an application specialist here at Solid Experts. Today we're going to talk about how to change the template of a part. Sheet metal parts created using old templates often won't flatten. The simple solution we'll explore is to create a new part, import the old part into the new part, and then sever the link between them. Let's take a look. Let's open an existing sheet metal part in SOLIDWORKS. If I right click any plane and open its feature properties, I can check how old the template is. I can do the same to any feature in the feature tree to verify how old the features are in comparison. Now let's try to create a drawing from the chosen part. Notice that its flat pattern view is not actually the flat pattern. Our solution here is to create a new part. Insert the old part into the new part. Remove the link to your original part. Delete the folder that contains the part's features. Now test the flat pattern. Create a drawing from the new part and drag the flat pattern view into the drawing to see if anything has changed. Another way to solve this problem is to open your sheet metal part in SOLIDWORKS, delete its flat pattern configuration, and then create another drawing from the part. You'll get an error message that tells you it's impossible to find the flat pattern view. Don't worry, just press OK and the new flat pattern view will now be generated automatically. Let's say you're working on an assembly that contains two parts, one that is new and another that was made using an old template. The old part has many configurations that we don't want to lose. With the old part open, create a new part. Insert the old part into the new part. Remove the link to your original part. And finally, delete the folder that contains the features. Next, return to the old part and export your configurations into an Excel table. Save the Excel table and save the changes to the part. Open your new part, insert the Excel table into the new part, and notice how the new configurations are automatically generated. You can delete the leftover default configuration because you don't need it anymore. Save the new part as your new template.
Next, you can open your assembly and replace the old part with the new. Make sure to fix missing reference geometry for mates. And there you have it. I hope you learned something useful and be sure to subscribe for more weekly tips and tricks.